between Europe and Asia. Economic dialogue, humanitarian missions, multi-vector operating and the search for compromises in the world arena. How else does Kazakhstan participate in the development of the modern world? For more details, watch the program Kazakhstan International Vectors. Today you will find out what is energy security, what does the smart house eat and how can everybody save on electricity? In the early 18th century, the world's population was only 1 billion people. It increased up to 2 billion only by the 20th of the 20th century. Today on the planet live more than 7 billion people. According to the UN forecasts, in the nearest 100 years this figure will exceed 11 billion. International experts have estimated that in the last 50 years people have been using the Earth's natural resources faster than the planet was able to replenish them. At the same time, the most energy-consuming countries were the developing states. According to British Petroleum, they account for about 60% of the world's energy consumption. The world community has already begun to solve the problem. Energy-saving technologies are being introduced not only in industries, but also in everyday life. States and international organizations are reviewing energy security policies. This issue is also on the agenda of Kazakhstan in its work in the UN Security Council. Energy security means ensuring uninterrupted access to energy resources at an affordable price. This definition is given by international experts, and there are many such resources. For example, in Kazakhstan, about 70% of electricity is produced from coal. However, there are significant hydro resources in the country. New power plants are being built, and existing enterprises are increasing their capacities. For this end, apart from everything else, Kazakhstan Corp with its immediate neighbors. That is, we are having the Republic working in a ring with our neighbors. That is, we work in cooperation with neighboring countries in terms of energy production. Frequency parameters are usually supported by Russia. That is, if we have 50 Hz in Kazakhstan, this will be 50 Hz, standard supported by most powerful Russian power stations. The Moynak Hydro Power Plant is the first high-pressure hydroelectric power station of a derivational type not only in Kazakhstan but also throughout the CIS. In other words, water here is being diverted from the riverbed through special devices called drainage systems and is being fed directly to the building of the power station. This project is called a breakthrough as its implementation has allowed to reduce significantly the electricity deficit in the southern region of Kazakhstan. Our hydropower station is situated at around 1,250 meters above the sea level. The station itself was built to cover the peak loads of electricity in the southern region of Kazakhstan. In our country, the southern region, comparing to other regions, is considered to be a relatively energy deficient region. So one of our main goals is the coverage of peak loads of electricity, which usually happen in the morning and in the evening. At this time, our station is now directly very active and plays an important role. Galimjan Aida Bakov is an honored power engineer of Kazakhstan. He has begun his working career as a simple locksmith, hence he knows the technology of electric power production from the title to credits. Five years ago he transferred here to the Moynak hydropower plant and took a direct part in the launch of its second unit. And today he is monitoring the uninterrupted operation of the entire station. After the counters have been changed, everything is fine, right? Is the temperature right? Okay. The station is equipped with modern technological devices. The logic of controller of the unit is as follows. Until one operation is completed, the other does not begin. Now we are at the cabinet controller. Here on the display it shows how loaded it is, how widely the nozzles are opened in the percent scale. Here you see, the red circles now in this case shows that at 70 megawatts of power, three nozzles are involved. These nozzles all are working symmetrically. We have in total six nozzles on one unit. This means the stream of water comes from six sides and thereby turns on the impeller of the unit, thereby rotating the shaft of the unit. 
все стопил. Such automation of the process makes it possible to exclude any errors due to the fault of the human factor. Do you see the sensors here on the edges? These are shaft sensors, vibration sensors. They all count the shaft speed. When anything is wrong, something has run out, the command is triggered and the device goes on turning off the machine. In general, everything is automated. You see, we even have a camera here. And directly, the head of the station who is on the working shift at that time looks and fixes the whole process of production. Right from here, we are able to see everything on monitors we manage. We ask commands on inclusion, switching off the basic and auxiliary equipment for production of the electric power. And still we watch the data of working equipment. The temperature data, a shaft battle, vibrations, everything can be traced from here in an online mode. During the construction of the Moynak Hydro Power Plant, the work was simultaneously carried out to complete the staff, train operational and managerial personnel. Thanks to full automation, only 127 people are working at such a large enterprise, and they're enough to provide a trouble-free process. Energy security today is an important factor in the economical development of both the individual state and the whole region. For example, in Central Asia, energy is not only a part of the national economy. After all, uninterrupted and inexpensive ubiquitous access to energy resources contributes to improving the lives of ordinary people. In recent years, energy security has also become an important component of political life, experts say. Most developing countries do not have energy resources on their territory and are export dependent on their neighbors. This provokes the emergence of tensions in the region. As a consequence, a threat of civil conflict arises. According to the United Nations Environment Programme, over the past 60 years, about 40% of all internal conflicts in the world have been associated with such natural resources as wood, diamonds, gold, oil, fertile lands and water. Repeatedly disputes over the shared use of water resources arose in the Central Asian region. However, being a leader in Central Asia, Kazakhstan has always acted as the initiator of the peaceful and speedy settlement. Today, in the framework of its activities in the UN Security Council, the country also prioritizes the issue of energy security. As a non-permanent member of the Security Council, Kazakhstan will contribute to the solution of water and energy problems which now exist in Central Asia. In order to solve them, in general, there are all the prerequisites, but it is necessary to bring the relevant international legal framework. Both water and energy issues, on the one hand, they can become a catalyst for conflicts, and on the other hand, in our opinion, they can, on the contrary, become the beginning, the basis for the integration of our region. Kazakhstan in the international arena is known as an energy power country. There are about 200 oil and gas fields on its territory. The Republic is one of the 15 largest oil producing countries. Being at the same time the world's largest producer of uranium, Kazakhstan provides about 40% of global production. And coal reserves are sufficient to meet country's own energy needs for 150 years. The World Energy Council assigns the sixth place in the world in terms of energy security indicators to Kazakhstan. Being an active participant in the energy pool of the leading countries of the world, Kazakhstan, as an active exporter of energy resources, supports the adoption of a number of agreements and conventions already at the global level. International experts predict by 2030 the world GDP will increase by more than two times and they explain the growth of the population and its incomes are the main factors in the growth of demand for energy resources. After all, in less than 20 years one and a half billion inhabitants will be added to the world's population and the growing global economy will need more resources. 
The extraction of energy in the traditional way is always accompanied by huge emissions of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, scientists say. This leads to the climate change and environmental problems. That is why, of course, we have the general trend, the tendency that the Paris Climate Agreement will begin to operate from 2020. The country's signatories that have ratified the agreement, they assume increased commitments that they will reduce emissions, increase the share of renewable energy. Today the realities of life are such that all countries should increase the share of renewable energy in the overall balance sheet. Global energy security is one of the main challenges of the 21st century. Kazakhstan, a number of state initiatives are devoted to this issue. In the strategy Kazakhstan 2050, as well as in cooperation with the UN Security Council, President Nazarbayev calls for special attention to the development of new resources of energy. As part of its membership in the Security Council, Kazakhstan is taking initiatives to adopt energy strategies aimed at the 21st century. Here is Kazakhstan's position that it is necessary to diversify energy sources to ensure the reliability of both traditional energy sources and to develop alternative types of energy. New Sultan Nazarbayev's initiatives such as Global Energy Strategy and the Green Bridge Partnership Program were supported by the UN Conference on Sustainable Development in 2015 and are included in the final documents of Rio Plus 20 Summit. In addition, the concept of Kazakhstan's transition to a green economy and the corresponding plan of activities until 2020 have been adopted. Our country has a huge potential for renewable energy, up to a trillion kilowatts per hour, we have such a potential. Wherever 920 billion kilowatt per hour is the wind potential, wind farms can be built. Somewhere around 8 billion kilowatts per hour is a small hydroelectric power station. And solar power is 2.5 billion kilowatts per hour. According to the concept of Kazakhstan's transition to a green economy, by 2020, the share of renewable energy sources in the general electrical balance in the country should be at least 3%. To achieve this goal, construction work in the country is ongoing today. In total, it is planned to put into operation four solar power stations, 13 wind stations and 14 small hydroelectric power stations. And therefore, this is the reality of achieving 3%, it is a necessity, and by 2020 to achieve 50%. And so, the opportunity to achieve these figures, we have it. The same Jungar gates, which are famous worldwide, which are the most powerful wind corridor and are very well known in the world. Um. Production of electricity in a traditional way is always accompanied by harmful emissions. Consequently, it has a detrimental impact on the environment and the climate of the entire region, experts say. Therefore, the exhibition of Expo 2017 in Astana will be a logical continuation of Kazakhstan's initiatives on the transition to a green economy. It will feature the latest inventions, clean technologies from around the world that can further be used in traditional energy production. After this event, on the basis of the Expo infrastructure, President Nazarbayev proposed the creation of an international green technology center under the AEGs of the United Nations. Those technologies that countries will bring, perhaps some of them will be transferred to the center. It will be such a worldwide platform for all countries, a democratic platform for innovation, as we call it. It will be necessary to think about how these series of technological inventions that are proposed on this topic will be updated annually. And here it turns out that the Green Bridge Partnership Program, a dialogue platform, it just fulfills its mission to serve as such an integration platform on which dialogues and lively discussions can be held. Modern inventions will be laid out, developments will be presented. The largest corporations and internet companies, Google, Apple, Microsoft and all their branches today switch to green energy supply. And the electricity of some countries such as Costa Rica and Uruguay is already generated by renewable energy sources by 95%.
a truly revolutionary way of energy supply. This is how the experience of Sweden is called by the world experts. Here, 99% of the ordinary garbage is processed into electricity. This makes it possible to provide more than 950,000 houses with heating and over 250,000 houses with electricity. A total of 32 power plants operating on the basis of waste incineration work throughout the country. Swedes are so successful in this matter that they have to import raw materials from Britain, Italy, Norway and Ireland. In Hamburg, Germany, the world's first smart house has been built, which feeds on algae. They are used as bioreactors in sidewall panels and play the role of heating radiators. Such a system not only insulates the building from noise, but creates a shadow from the sun in the summer and keeps the building warm in winter. Construction of the building with the so-called bioadaptive facade costed 5 million euros. In general, in order to ensure energy security, constant, ongoing international cooperation should exist, experts say. In particular, it is necessary to make the markets transparent to increase energy efficiency, diversify energy sources and develop and introduce new technologies. Since the beginning of its operation, the Moynak hydropower station has generated in total more than 4 billion kilowatt hours of electricity. This has positively affected the inhabitants of the region and not only in terms of providing electricity. Due to the even annual discharge of water, land users get enough moisture to irrigate lands. Uh, Land users who are situated below us, this is the Uyghur district, they receive timely the water they need to water their lands. Especially the year of 2014 was a year of water shortage. And during this period, just because of its schedule, the even discharge of water helped the peasants. <laughs> Such well-established work of the Moynak enterprise has also a positive impact on the climate of the region as a whole. When we go to Kolsai or Chorin, we pass exactly that area which was influenced by the construction of the Moynak hydropower plant. In any case, after its launch, the climate has changed. The desert blossoms longer, you can see even how Saxol blooms, that is, the humidity of the climate has increased. Uh, it is necessary to further increase production capacity, says Galimjan, in the short-term plan to transfer the riverbed of the Kinsu River to the Bestubinskaya Reservoir. This will give additional 100 million kilowatt-hours annually. Coffee makers, vacuum cleaners and washing machines. Household appliances today surround us everywhere. Since recently, when choosing such a home helper, the consumer pays attention not only to the functionality of the device itself, but also to its power consumption. After all, in the end, this will affect how much the user will be billed for electricity. And in order for the buyer to more conveniently navigate the market, household appliances have a special marking. If we talk about refrigerators, then all of the refrigerators are now having a mark of A, A+, or A++. In general, manufacturers are trying to do so that it is not a little noticed factor when choosing a technique. That is, a person needs energy to be consumed less, but the product, as it used to, retains all its functions. Experts advise, in order to save the electrical energy during the operation of a household appliance, it is necessary to follow some simple rules. TV, if two hours it has been disconnected or rather remained in a standby mode, it spends up to 40% of the energy. If an electric stove and a refrigerator are standing next to each other, too, a huge overexpenditure of energy is going on. Therefore, we need to install LED lighting. We have repeatedly cited an example, as in rural schools, for instance, when conventional lamps were switched to LEDs, it was four times more economical in paying for electricity. These are energy-saving bulbs. 
That is, as a rule, the light bulb is allowed to be elementary in 10 watts. The LED energy saving lamp replaces the usual incandescent lamp of 75 watts, that is, the energy saving reaches 7.5 times. The problems of the country's ecology are inextricably linked with energy efficiency. Therefore, by more energy efficient household appliances, each person also makes a feasible contribution to the care of the environment.